Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Probably you guys don't know this, but I was in nursing school and then I recently graduated and I was studying for weeks for my board exams, the NCLEX. So that's how, that's what I'm gonna show you guys today and tell you about how I prepared for the NCLEX and how I passed the NCLEX because I recently took it last Friday actually. And I found out, I think two days later that I passed and I have my license now. So I'm officially a nurse. That's crazy. And I'm, I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm so incredibly thankful to God. I'm gonna tell you guys, I feel like I have a duty to tell you how I studied and how I prepared because I was also watching so many of these videos. So let's just go ahead and get started. If you guys see me looking down, I have my notes here on my laptop. Before studying, I did some research. Like I told you guys, I was watching so many YouTube videos on how people studied and prepared for their NCLEX, uh, specifically the new generation NCLEX. For the research, it can get very confusing because so many people learn in so many different ways. And so many people have so many different things to say and it can get very, very confusing that you can feel more lost than when you first started researching. But I found out a way on how to narrow down what things you should do. You should ask yourself is how do you learn? Are you an auditory learner? Are you a visual learner? For me personally, I do not learn very well from just reading textbooks. I tend to fall asleep and I don't retain much information. For me, I learn from my mistakes. So I like to do practice questions. You should already know, to be honest, since you've gone through nursing school, how you learn the best. So stick to that. Don't reinvent the wheel and come up with different things because you'll just end up confusing yourself even, even more. So really just double down on how you learn best and stick to that. I'm going to talk about the resources that I used personally to study for my NCLEX. I personally used UWorld because that's what everybody has been recommending to me, student or nurse. A lot of nurses that I met during clinical or the nurses even in my family uh, recommend UWorld. So that's what I used. I got the 60 day subscription and it was about 180 something dollars. So yeah, everyone was recommending UWorld. Archer, some people also use, but I honestly never heard of Archer until I started looking up resources for the NCLEX. I learned very well, like I said, from uh, questions, question bank. And I really liked the rationales that UWorld gave. It was like a little mini lesson. And I would also recommend UWorld because they have the cats, the self-assessments. I also used the Mark K lectures, Mark Lemek. So he has a total of 12 lectures, all with different topics for each. From psych, OB, peds, recommend that you listen to all of them because they're all very good. He teaches so well that I wish every professor taught like him. He's so chill and he adds like some humor into it, but he teaches in a way that it's so easy to understand like a fifth grader would understand the topics that he taught. He really breaks it down to its most simple um, elements. He comes up with so many like cool memory tricks. Each of his recordings are like one to two hours. I just really recommend him. There's a Dr. Sharon YouTube videos. I do recommend hers because she reiterates the things that Mark K talks about and she goes over questions with you her rationale and how she thinks through the questions because that's how you should be thinking while you're taking exams how you should break down each question in your mind so that you get the right answer so how long did I study? it really depends on the person for me, I don't feel confident until I've really doubled down, locked in <laughs> and studied or like depends on how serious the exam is but for me, I studied for four weeks and about three of those weeks were like very intense but this one it really depends on each person some people study for one week and pass some pe some people study for one month and pass and some people study for one month and fail so it really depends on you and how you feel so and how confident you feel depending on how much time you allot for studying first thing is try to do all the U world Q banks. There's about 2,000 questions in the question bank. This is to see what topics are touched on.
for the NCLEX because that's the topics on UWorld are most likely gonna show up on the NCLEX. And then I would also, every time you get a question wrong, take notes on those questions. There's a highlight function on UWorld where you can highlight and then add it to your notebook. So I have like 12 notebooks on UWorld <laughs> from all the questions that I got wrong. So of course, read all the rationales it gives you because it really gives good rationales. But I only ended up doing about 80% of the question bank and I got 75% of the points. New World says, I think I read it on their website, that when you consistently get 70% and above on your questions, on your little practice exams, then you're pretty good to go for the NCLEX. And also, I think it was NCLEX High Yield on YouTube recommended to do 160 questions a day in increments of 40 with 10 minute breaks in between just to build that stamina to be able to take the NCLEX because the NCLEX is max 150 questions, minimum 85 questions. I personally, I did 180 questions a day in increments of 60 with a longer break in between, like 20 minute break in between, 15 to 20 minute breaks in between because I honestly don't have the attention span for that. Um, Mark K, I did I took about four days straight to listen to all of his uh, recordings. I followed along with notes on my iPad. So I'll link the notes and this, his recordings down below, which I found uh, someone else's YouTube videos on how she passed the NCLEX. Yeah, and then Mark K, I really liked his videos and it was a good break from doing the question banks because the question banks are very helpful, but it's like obviously really taxing on your brain to take so many um, mini exams every day. So after listening to Mark K for four days, I went back on into the UWorld QBank and did, again, 180 questions per day. I also listened to Dr. Sharon's videos in between studying and in between doing the um, mini exams on UWorld. I listened to Dr. Sharon to like take a break, kind of rest my mind a bit. So the week before the exam, went over Mark K notes again and I did at least one CAT every day. So the CATs are the computer adapt adaptive tests. It's basically like the NCLEX. So it's 85 to 150 questions and it can either shut off at 85 or somewhere between 85 and 150. So well, that's kind of like it's giving you a gauge on how you're doing with your studying. Two or three days before the NCLEX, I did one of the self-assessments and it said very high chance of passing. So that was like a good sign that I'm on the right track. And two days before the NCLEX, I listened to Mark K lecture 12. Again, if you don't listen to any of the Mark K lectures, I would still recommend to at least, at least listen to lecture 12, which is um, about prioritization and guessing strategies. And these are very helpful tips before taking the NCLEX, just the bare minimum <laughs> that you have to know um, to at least be a good test taker strategies on how to think while answering the questions. And so the night before the NCLEX, obviously you're in, if you're like an anxious tester like me, my anxiety was like pretty high. So I did some prioritization questions that I just found on Quizlet because I didn't want to stress myself too much by using UWorld and getting like a lower than lower than expected score. I just rode that high from getting a very high chance of passing for my self-assessment from UWorld and I was like, okay, I'm done. Then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go over some Quizlets. And so um, the last thing are just tips that I have for if you're gonna take your NCLEX soon. So I would say stay positive. Mark K says in his lecture that negativity will kill you. Stay positive, do what you can to be able to pass Study very hard, obviously. People also say that you will never feel 100% ready for it, but give yourself ample time to study. Find your weakest points and focus on those too. Do not forget fundamentals. We can always get too lost thinking about med surge or psych or peds, OB topics that we completely forget fundamentals. So don't forget your fundamentals. Then Mark also said in, his, in one of his lectures to not expect 80 for it to shut off at 85 questions 
expect to get all 150 questions because what if it doesn't shut off at 85 then your anxiety is gonna shoot up and you're not gonna be able to answer the rest of the questions to the best of your ability so just hope for the best but expect the worst <laughs> so expect all the questions so i have here to focus on safety i know you guys have heard this that at the nclex is a safety exam think that what is the safest thing to do in this situation what will save my patient focus on what is the safest thing for you to do for your patient in that situation that they give you do not expect to know all the meds and all the diseases that they have on the NCLEX because I feel like they just put those to like throw you off you will get questions where you absolutely do not know the answer so honestly with those I just guessed and moved on <laughs> but I do not recommend guessing unless it's like uh, really 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 last resort and Mark K goes over those in his lecture 12. He goes over guessing strategies as well. Also, when you're taking the NCLEX, do take your breaks. They give you breaks, but it does eat into your time. So probably don't take too long of a break. But if you really need to take your break, get some water, use the restroom. And if you're a religious person like me, I would definitely pray, breathe, stay calm, and just trust that the Lord will help you through this difficult time as he has helped you through nursing school. And that's my last thing. You went through nursing school, which in itself is difficult, super, super difficult for some people. You went through it. You can get through the NCLEX. You got this. Stay positive and lock in. <laughs> Okay, that was my video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions regarding the NCLEX or anything with nursing school, please leave it down below. And if you guys have any tips you guys want to share with anyone else watching, leave it down below too. And I'll see you guys in the next video.